What's up everybody, George here from GP Lifestyle. In today's video, guys, I'll be going over the bare bones basics when it comes to men's jewelry. This is part one of my jewelry series. And as always, gentlemen, there are timestamps and links in the description, as well as freebies and bonuses and links to other stuff I use. So without further delay, let's get started. Now the first thing here is fashion jewelry. And the best comparison I have in fashion jewelry is fashion watches. These mass produced, cheaply made, just a whole lot of different types of bracelets, necklaces, rings, not even beaded, we're talking even the imitation precious metal. Like you've probably seen on Instagram these all these pages that sell basically cubic zirconian and gold or silver plated jewelry as like wrapper jewelry, which for me is completely ridiculous and is just, it's sort of the knockoff. And then you have the other side, which is these super sleek, super minimal, brands that make sort of men's jewelry as well but a lot of these times these they do look nice but they're all made of stainless steel which has no inherent value and there's nothing really precious about putting that on a body and wearing it proud now the second category is the real deal jewelry this is stuff you find in jewelry shops custom made and it's made with all the good stuff like gold silver diamonds gemstones this is the real deal when it comes to jewelry and not really the fake stuff online because these are always made with precious materials that actually have a lot of value for example i'm going to be comparing two necklaces this one that i picked up from like a minimal instagram fashion shop it's made out of stainless steel i paid 135 dollars for this it looks nice even the link i actually ended up replacing with actually a silver link but this has no inherent value you're not getting any of your money back out of this and there's nothing really precious about it or makes it look you know somewhat like jewelry other than it's a fashion accessory the second thing here, yes, it is a piece. This is a 14 karat gold Cuban, not a Cuban, like rope link on a two-tone white and yellow gold Lady Tannenbaum pen. And this thing was around $450. It's made out of all 14 karat gold, both white gold and yellow gold. And it actually is worth on its way to gold around, since it's 14 karat, so around 30 dollars a gram and this you can see the differences between a lot of fashion jewelry and versus the real deal the second part of this is understanding basics of gold and silver now gold and silver is the majority of what your jewelry is made out of silver is the cheapest one and it's usually basically one kind of silver used and that is 925 either italian silver or the made in china ones but the italian silver ones i love it because they look more like white gold and they're actually higher quality and higher finish now to make sure that your piece whatever you have that is supposedly silver is authentic make sure you look for a 925 stamp on where you fasten your piece together if it doesn't have a 925 stamp then it it might as well be stainless steel like the same stuff refrigerators are made of. but the 925 stamp is actually the purity of the metal it is 92 and a half percent silver pure silver is not used in jewelry often because it is a lot more brittle so they have to have that other percentage of a metal alloy to actually make it feasible for being worn and not breaking apart when it comes to gold it is actually quite simple 24 karat gold is a big kahuna that is pure elemental gold this again is not often used in jewelry making because of its because it's a lot more brittle and it's actually yellow gold really has that really dense yellow shine to it kind of like noodles so it's not really used that way but then you see other times a lot of different carats of gold 10 carat 12 carat 14 carat 18 carat all this is is a concentration of gold elemental gold and another metal alloy the higher you are in carats the more it's going to cost because the more gold you're getting something like 18 karat gold is around i believe 75 percent pure gold and other elemental compound so once you know this, now you can actually start to put a price range on what type of piece that you'd like to pick up. Although there are items like bracelets and rings that are usually made with either 12 or 10 carry gold just because they need other metals in there to create a sturdy design. But the third thing when it comes to jewelry, this is more from a style perspective, and that is polished versus a non-polished look. Now for me, a polished look is a way to go if you want to have that shine, that cleanliness to your jewelry, make it look super bright and super actually, it'll sparkle nicely in different lighting settings now for me i have two chains on right now both are 925 italian silver cuban links one is polished the other one is not polished and here you can see the difference the polished ones they look more white they have a bit more of a shine and sparkle to them and ultimately they look closer to white gold the non-polished one it looks a little bit more gray dull and matte color finish now this is obviously up to your preference of what type of style you're looking for but i personally if you want to have that authentic jewelry experience with having you know some ice or whatever you want to call it. Definitely go with a polish because it does take a little bit more effort to make it look that. And for me, it makes it look more expensive without you actually spending a lot more. That's it for me today, guys. That is the bare bones basics of men's jewelry. This is part one. Now in part two coming up, 
soon we're basically going to be all we're going to be doing is talking about how to select a nice piece whether it's a chain a bracelet a necklace a few criteria that you guys should follow thank you guys so much for watching enjoy this video be sure to drop a like and subscribe subscribing to the channel because on this channel i help you become the best version of yourself by teaching you how to look better how to dress better and ultimately how to be better thank you guys so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video peace